set for the maiden edition of the Lagos Choir Awards 2020, a gospel reality TV music award, which is geared towards creating a platform designed exclusively for various church choirs in Lagos to showcase their God-given talent while competing for a prize. Speaking at the first press conference to officially launch the show, the sponsor, Oti Idowu Jonathan, said it is born out of his desire to see gospel music back in the limelight as much as the contemporary music. Um, the idea about the Lagos State Choir Award is an observation that became an idea that today is becoming a reality. Um, it is a trend I've noticed over a period of time where you have a lot of secular artists, very popular and all that. And when you trace their history, you discover that their background is from the church. And when I took my time to look at this trend, I discovered something. A lot of them started from the church and along the line, they drifted to the secular because of finance because there was no proper mentoring and a lot of other things and there's this vague belief that there's the they can't make a living out of even gospel music the judges which comprised gospel music artists such as esther osage florica nikelaoye are going to judge the contestants based on creativity costume and their voice modulation say Gospel music originated from the church, noting that it is a good initiative worthy of support. You now see this kind of project that is giving a face or giving voice and face, of course, to choirs. It's very, very important that we should be a part of it mm. because that's where we all grew up from. I still, I'm still part of a choir till today. I've always told God that for as long as I live, even if I become the most famous person on face of the earth, I would still love to serve in the church. I think one of the reasons why I'm lending my voice is personally I'm tired of seeing what I'm seeing within the body of Christ in terms of singing. A lot of people are showcasing talent, but the life and the talent are not one. Mm -hmm. If we are supposed to be, you know, I I'm careful not to use the word minister or gospel. I used to use it, I used to call myself a minister till I read in the Bible. You know, Jesus' ministry started after 30 years of obedience. Mm -hmm then three years of ministry. So I look at myself, have I done 30? Because that 30 is the benchmark. Mm -hmm. So when I realized I've not done 30, I stopped calling myself a minister. And I call myself a child of God <laughs> that is hoping to minister to people. <laughs> the reason why I would not hold back to um, jump, in on, uh, jump on the train is to see anything you want to do to just give back to God. You know, when you want to call, it has become a norm now to get people on board of this kind of a thing. They'll give you a budget, a big budget. And you begin to wonder, is, are, are we losing the gospel in the real sense of it? That is the truth. Because one day you will become a very big name like you are hoping to be. Dreams will come true. But when it has come true, will it be at a price to give back to God? With their singing voices, the qualified contestants who will now move to the next stage look ready for the next level.